setup. Very calming. Very calming. I like that because sometimes you feel all the stress. You come, you can put things behind and, and calm yourself down. What brings you here? That's because I, I, I felt stressed. See, I'm a carer and I felt stressed and they, they said it from carers. Do you want to come over and have relaxation? So of course I came for relaxation. Does it, <laughs> it does help, it does help. It doesn't last, but it lasts for a little while. And then as you go along, you become good at it. So you can do it for yourself. Yes, so I do like doing that. Can you say something about what it's like being a carer? Being a carer is very stressful. It can be nice sometimes, because the person you're caring for can give you jokes. Sometimes, you know, might not be so happy, but most times you're happy because you can tell them they have to agree with you. So you're, you're the boss. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> you find coming along helps you in care? It does, it does. And meeting with the other people, the other, meeting with the other people is strength, you know, togetherness, more than one together, give you strength. So, yeah, I do like that. How do you find coming along to the London Buddhist Centre? Um, I feel when I come here that it's like coming into a different world and um, when I come here this is my time, this is my time, I'm not answerable to anybody. The mobile goes off, everything switches off and this is my little bit of time to sort of um, build up strength in mind and body and then I can go out and face the world, that is how I feel about the London Buddhist Centre. Can you say a little bit about what it's like being a carer? Because lots of people don't know what it's like being a carer. Um, it's all consuming. Um, it um, changes your life completely. Um, you, you go along in life and um, things happen and then suddenly you'll become a carer and your life's turned upside down. Um, you've got somebody who depends on you completely for everything and uh, it's very stressful but there are moments when you feel very close to the person and you can become um, overwhelmed by the feeling of love and devotion for that person when you're looking after them like that. That is how I feel sometimes but um, it's because they're so dependent on you and you can't help but love someone who's so dependent on you can you? And that's how I feel about being a carer. You've been on one of the carers' retreats, haven't you? Yes. Can you say about what, what, what happens on the carers' retreats and how did you experience, how did you find it personally? Um, friendship, um, fun, quiet, peace. All the emotions are there. I've cried on them, I've laughed on them. I've just enjoyed the countryside and the people around me. But um, every way is different. But I've always enjoyed the retreat and I think that they're great and I think people should try to go on them. They're not too long, they're two nights out so you're not leaving your loved one for too long. It's really a, a good combination. And if there's one particular thing about coming along here that you either particularly like or respond to or appreciate, what, what would it be? I think, um, that we can actually help one another. I think people say things that, that help me and hopefully I give people just little nippets of advice and they seem to be help them. You know, we all have got different experiences, we all deal with life a different way. But of course, um, some people um, are able to deal with life better than others. Yeah. This is a fact of life. And in, and those people can help other people. You've got to be positive. You must be positive. Not it's, not, it's not easy. No. Tell us what it's like coming along to the London Buddhist Centre. Um, it's, What's it like for you? Well, it's very relaxing. Um, it's very interesting because um, I'm a Christian and this is completely different than anything that I've experienced before. And um, I feel very relaxed and very comfortable um, here at the centre. I feel very welcomed by the people who actually run the centre and take part. Um, and as part of the carers group, I find that it gives me um, a focus for myself 
um, as opposed to always giving out to somebody else at home, I'm always um, being treated well here. Mm. And um, it, it's a little bit of respite for myself. Mm. So I know that you're, uh, with your Christian faith, how do you, do you feel that there's any pressure here or is it that you should, you know? Um, no, I don't feel there's any pressure at all. Um, if anything, I'd, li I'd rather find out more about it and sometimes that's difficult because um, the people who are involved here uh, feel that they don't want to impose their beliefs on people unless they want to have them imposed. Um, and there, there is um, some... I've been coming here for about two years now, on and off, and I, I feel that um, reading books has been my way of sort of understanding more about Buddhism as opposed to people here telling me about it because they are more aware that they don't want to frighten people off, they want it to be a place of welcome, of rest and relaxation, especially for the carers that use this, this centre. How has coming along here helped you in your, in your life as a carer? Um, it's given me perspective um, that I've not been able to get um, elsewhere. It's also given me um, inspiration knowing that other people are going through the same things or worse things than myself. Um, it's not that um, the person that I care for is any worse than anybody else is here or any better, it's just that it's all different and we all can relate to each other and the um, Buddhist members that sort of run the carers group they um, are very sympathetic and always have a listening ear, whether it's um, something completely different to do with who you're caring for, or whether it's just everyday life that is getting on top of you. Um, and when you're happy and when you, you've had a good time, they're always there as well, being very happy with you and happy for you, which is a really uplifting experience.